hi guys welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel welcome thanks for stopping by today i am checking in because it's been a little while since i gave a, an update and said hi to you all i hope you're all well and i wanted to share with you my halloween decorations in my apartment because i've had a number of requests on instagram mainly my dms because i have been sharing uh some photos on instagram over there if you aren't already following me and you would like to my username is at rachel jade but I wanted to give like the, the video visual and show you guys some of the new things that I bought this year. It's kind of like a mini haul slash you can see all the decorations in situ. And since I haven't done an apartment update in a while, I might also point out a couple of new, I don't know, bits and pieces that I bought from the apartment. I'm just can see myself it's after work friday night i'm not looking the greatest and i got my hair trimmed uh today a little life update for you so it's very curly and not quite how i would usually style my hair so i keep on playing with it and moving it around but anyway i need to leave it alone and just get on with the video i have dressed specifically for this video you will realize that if you ever catch me in a mirror because i've actually put this t-shirt right on top of my um work dress that i was wearing so i'm not i'm not properly dressed but i wanted to show you this because i just picked it up off of asos it was i think about 24 australian dollars and it's got cute little ghosts on it so i will be wearing this for halloween and i will pop a link in the description box for you if it's still online if you would like to get it because i thought it was really cute and it's a really really nice t-shirt i sized up to a size 12 so it was a little bit looser and if you wanted it really oversized you could probably go up two sizes it's got nice long sleeves that i've just cuffed and yeah really nice quality t-shirt there i've digressed this is really going to be one of those just general like vlog videos <laughs> sorry if you were expecting like a beautifully polished apartment tour it's just it's not going to be that okay let's Let's start over here at the door. This is my first new purchase of the Halloween season. Most of my decor is from TK Maxx here in Australia. Uh, this is no different. This is new from TK Maxx. I liked this specifically because it says, yes, I can drive a stick and I actually can drive a stick. I drive manual. Uh, so it was like a little play on words and I liked it. It's actually just hung up with like a clear command hook I've got hidden under there and it looked kind of, I don't know, boring. So I just cut out a couple of bats from a little bit of cardboard. These are actually like binding backs that I um, commandeered from work. So I thought that was fun. A little bit crafty. Um, that's about the extent of my craft in this I would actually love to do like a whole wall of paper bats or cardboard bats I've seen those pictures on Pinterest and they look amazing but I don't have a lot of time so I just have two but yes TK Maxx one of my first of many TK Maxx Halloween decorations we come over here to my study I have decorated this as well this is old TK Maxx, but I've, I've had it for a couple of years, really like it. Candle TK Maxx. This tree is new. It lights up. What I might do is go around later when it gets dark and turn on all my light up things and I'll like include a, a shot of all the lights. I do love me a good light up decoration because it just, it makes the whole ambience of the place at night really nice. I, it always makes me smile when I turn everything on. It's a pain in the butt because everything's battery operated, but it's nice when it's done new candle apple cider i really love this scent from sand and fog and it's actually got a little spooky season on the top these two little uh spiders are from a decoration that i'll show you that's new i didn't really like them so i pulled them off and then i've just left them here i'd kind of like to spray paint them black i just feel like the the silver glitter is a little bit too i don't know not my style but i like the spiders so they're there they're part of the decoration my shelves over my um study or built-in desk are kind of the only shelves that I have in the place so I do really like decorating them I've changed up a few bits and pieces book is TK Maxx this is a new uh it's actually like a scented uh pumpkin it's got scent beads inside it that was $9.95 from TK Maxx this is last year it's a little book that actually has a light up eye from Target this was Target last year target this year another new decoration i quite like these from target i think they were seven dollars each which is kind of pricey for a cheap plastic uh pumpkin but i caved and bought one i'd like to paint this like a matte black and if i see any that go on like clearance after halloween i might pick up a couple of more and paint them matte black next year but for now i've just got the one 
some new light up spooky candles also from TK Maxx. I don't know if I've still got a price on these. Oh yep, I do, $16.95. One thing I would say about TK Maxx Australia is I feel like they have upped their prices of the Halloween decorations this year. If you bought Halloween decorations from TK Maxx in the past couple of years and then you have this year as well, let me know if you think they've sort of upped their prices a bit. I'd be interested to see if they do the same with the Christmas stuff as well, which has just started to be put out. Uh, cause yeah, I think they've been a little bit sneaky and up their prices, which is not particularly great, but they do have a really great range and probably the best range of Halloween decorations here in Australia. Continuing on, pumpkin up there is from TK Maxx from last year. And I think that's, that's my whole little study area. Oop, I just ran into the table. My table I have decorated as well, just a little bit. Most of these bits are like always here, they're from Kmart, but I do have my boo sign, which I picked up many years ago just from a random seller off of eBay. Just have my, my new bag here. Maybe I'll just, I'll show you. It's new, it's from Fawn Designs. I really like it. It's part of their new autumn collection. It's a, the walnut color and it's like the mini original bag. What I love about it is that it's a backpack as well as like an over the shoulder bag. And it's modeled off of their like larger size bag, which is actually used or sold as like a diaper or a nappy bag. So it's got lots of pockets and little bits and pieces. I love it. I will link that as well for you guys if you're at all curious. Back to the Halloween. <laughs> I have my bar cart sitting here, which of course I had to decorate again. I was gonna do it the same as last year and then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So above, I just have my Ray Dunn uh, bowls, which were from last year. They didn't release any Ray Dunn Halloween here in Australia, which was really sad, because um, I do like some of the bits and pieces. I'm not a crazy collector, but I, I do like them. So I had them from last year. I've got pumpkin, uh, TK Maxx. This was actually from Spotlight. I just picked this up on the weekend. It was on sale. It was just obviously not Halloween. It was just a random collection, but 30% off, and I thought it worked well with the Halloween thing. I forgot to get a candle, so instead it's holding some mini... These are real pumpkins that I picked up from Coles. $2.50 each, a bit of a rot, but I really loved the baby pumpkin. So I've got a couple of those, and I've got some more in um, some other spots. Uh, Witch's Brew is, of course, uh, Ray Dunn, TK Maxx. That's also Ray Dunn, TK Maxx. These are old, might have been TK Maxx or maybe even Daiso, Daiso. We'll trade candy for wine. This pumpkin is new and it does light up, which I love. Again, I didn't buy a ton of new stuff this year because it was really overpriced. This was a lot more expensive than I feel like my past pumpkins were. I feel like it might have been about $30. Yeah, anyway. I caved and bought it and I really like how that whole little vibe is going. Not a lot of alcohol going on on the um, bar cart, but lots of decorations. Moving along, I've got out my Halloween tea towels again. I've got two of them. Cute little, are they French Bulldogs? I think they are. Anyway, they are old TK Maxx. More Ray Dunn TK Maxx. There and there. They're just there because it's like convenient. <laughs> Then I have a new little setup over here. This little guy is new from TK Maxx and he's just holding a bunch of chocolate, which I don't know, I thought he was really sweet and it's great like replacement of my candy jar that I usually have, which is actually here. And instead is holding my utensils, little spooky plate there. I have a bunch of things that aren't really decoration but are for Halloween. So I've got some candy lollies uh, from Big W. This is from TK Maxx that I actually used when I did a fruit platter recently. It was, wasn't really a Halloween party, but I'm like, it's October. October means we can use Halloween. And it's just like a little, I don't know, snack dish. I also grabbed a couple of napkin packs because I thought they were really cute. These were $4.95 from TK Maxx. And I am planning on having some people at my parents' house on Halloween, so I might use them then. And I grabbed this for when I was getting the pumpkins from Coles because my old set has broken. And sometimes these little things are quite good for doing like more intricate cutouts. I use a knife for like cutting the top off and getting the big cuts, but it's nice to have one of these serrated ones for little, um, little carving. So I think that was a few dollars from Coles as well. This is new. <laughs> I keep on going away from the Halloween, but I did finally get a blender. I picked up the Nintendo, Nintendo, Ninja IntelliSense 
something or other system. It has this, it has like an individual blender cup. It also has a spiralizer, which is what I was really excited about. And also a, um, like a food processor cup with a dough thing as well. So I will give a further review on that if anybody's interested in a later sort of an apartment update video, but I'm very excited to have a blender again because I've been making all of the fruit smoothies because I've been sick and trying to get extra vitamins uh, through my fruit and vegetables smoothie-fied. I realize smoothie-fied is not a word, but it's Friday afternoon. Bear with me, guys. Okay, living room decorations. This is what it's kind of looking like right now. I have more real pumpkins here. I'm going to carve those, but they don't last particularly long. So I'm going to wait until like the weekend before Halloween to carve them. More baby pumpkins. I have these light up pumpkins, which were from TK Maxx last year. New candle this year, the smoked vanilla. I don't know what the brand is. Oh yeah, it's still DW Home. I thought it might be. Or DW Co. DW, DW Home. DW Home & Co. Whatever it is, it's a nice smelling candle. I have a similar one from the range over here. This one is the something pumpkin, scarlet pumpkin scent. I've actually started to burn this one. It smells really nice. I've also added just another little pumpkin candle here. This one is new from TK Maxx as well. It's unscented, which is fine because I really just like it for the, I don't know, the shape of it more so than the, um, I guess, looking for another candle. I have a lot of Halloween candles. I don't need any more. I'm trying to propagate some carrots. Ignore that. <laughs> Uh, and over here, this is one of my new decorations from Target. I really, really love these. I got so excited when I saw them. If you live in America, you probably see these style pumpkins all the time, but I've never seen something like this available in Australia. And what's really cool is that they light up as well. So let me just, I'll show you these later when it's dark, but if I just turn one of them on, you're not going to get the full effect, but they're just really flipping cute with these like copper lights that you don't see until you turn them on. I love them. I would really like more of them, but they were $20 each, which I feel like is a lot. So again, maybe if you can score some after Halloween or like when everything goes on sale, um, I might even try and pick up a couple more because I would like some more. But for now, I just have the two and I used some flyby dollars to get them. So I didn't feel so bad about the fact that I'd spent so much money on them. This little, um, I don't know, bunting, shall we call it, is also from TK Maxx this year. This was the first thing I picked up and I fell in love with it. And then I didn't really look at the price, which was stupid of me because when I actually got to pay for it, it was $29.95, which I think is way too much. That, got, that was what got me thinking that they've upped the prices. Anyway, I ended up buying it because I was that person who, you know, didn't want to <laughs> like walk away from it at the checkout when I'd already sort of started to go through the process of buying it. So I kept it. I do really like it, but TK Maxx, what are you doing? That is not worth $29.95. I'm sorry. It's just not. I do have a cushion out. This one was from, actually I think it was, no, this one was from last year. And they had something similar again this year. I think the trick or treat uh, cushion, I really like that one. And I think that's everything for my living room. It really is nice at night because with all the light up pumpkins and I've got the light up decorations over there and even down here, it just, I don't know, it makes me happy every time I walk into this space and see all of my decorations. I just realized I do have a couple of the Radon masks, Radon masks, Radon mugs from last year displayed up there. And then if we wander into my guest bathroom, I don't really have much going on in here. As you can see, I've got my um, steamer because I have nowhere else to, to put that. But I do have a boo candle, which I got um, a couple of either last year or the year before. And um, it's just a little, a little pop of Halloween when you walk in here. Okay, if we come into my bedroom, I have decorated this a little bit as well. I popped a couple of pumpkins. These are both older from TK Maxx. This one lights up, which I really, really like because it doesn't look like it would, but it does. Another TK Maxx pumpkin. This one is new from DW Home. It's the Poison Apple Candle, and I really like the scent of that one as well. They don't have the strongest scent throw, but it's certainly not as strong as, say, a Bath & Body Works or a um, Glass House candle, but they do definitely let off some scent, which I think is good because there's a lot of inexpensive candles that don't smell at all when you burn them. So 
do do like those i've got my old boo cushion which is from a couple of years ago from tk maxx they did have it again last year i don't think i saw it this year but they did have similar ones so i love that one we kind of changed up my pillow situation here this is a new piece that i should update you on this was an aldi special buy that i caved and bought i really really loved it it was 129 dollars, i believe and i've seen these sell for 500 dollars. so for 129 I bought it even though I really have nowhere to put it and this seems like quite a small space like it would look really nice at the end of the bed or somewhere I don't have that much space but for now it's living there I couldn't resist it and I love it and it is holding um, some cushion a cushion for decor it's also ho holding my fabric pumpkin which I got last year from TK Maxx and a fan because it's starting to get warm here in Australia and I sleep very hot so not the nicest sort of Part of the decor but um, it's a necessary necessary thing and then i have this tree which is from tk maxx this year and this is what the spiders those silver spiders were on they were just held on with some wire so i just untwined the wire and i have my tree with the cute little bats i love the detail of this look at the, the little hanging bats everywhere i don't know at night i think this is really cool a new plant to this pot is from TK Maxx and I propagated this off of my other devil's ivy that I've got in the living room so that makes me very happy um, that I'm I'm expanding my plant collection without actually buying any more plants I think that's everything I have to show you in here oh the other thing that I bought I bought from ASOS which again this is digressing greatly but I picked up a swimsuit when I purchased the t-shirt part of me did it because I didn't want to pay for shipping and I wanted to get my allotment up to over the price that I needed to pay um, in order to get free shipping and also because I know that ASOS has free returns so if I didn't like it I would return it but I wanted to mention this so for any of you ladies out there who are naturally bigger busted I definitely recommend ASOS as a place to get um, fuller busted swimmers I've talked about this before I think a few now like maybe three or four vlogmases ago I spoke about it but this particular brand Peak and Bow have really nice swimmers i've used i bought some of them last year and this is a really nice set it's orange so let's say it's halloween like i really like it. it has like a little faux tie there so if you're naturally bigger busted i definitely recommend checking this brand out they weren't particularly expensive like each piece was probably like 30 dollars or something like that if that asos has good sales but i definitely recommend i think i've got the 10 e to f and the 12 bottoms just for reference if you want to compare sizes Right, so now that this video has gone longer than I expected and really gone off on many tangents, I um, hope you've enjoyed this tour and seeing how I decorate the place. Obviously, it's small, so I can't go too crazy, and I've got to save some space for each year to add more. There's a few things that I would like to buy. Um, Target has some good like outdoor decorations. They have this bell that's like a, an eye. I'm sure many of you have seen them before. I've seen them on other people's videos. Um, particularly in the US. I think even this particular one I've seen in other people's US Target hauls and even though Target Australia and Target US aren't connected at all some of the decoration things actually are quite similar. Obviously Target in the US has a lot more. I'm very jealous of all of you over there. You have some great decorations at really great prices. I've been watching a lot of people's like shop with me videos for like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Target and Home Goods and um, what else? Michaels. So many sorts. It's like one of these random things. If you if you're just looking for something to zone out to, <laughs> um, look search for people's shop with me videos. I don't know. It's something that I'm into at the moment. Anyway. I don't even know what I was saying. I think I was trying to wrap up this video, but like I said, I hope you guys are well. It's a Friday night for me, so I am actually going to put on a load of laundry. Then I'm going to take this shirt back off and duck out and do my groceries because I try to do them on a Friday night if I can so I don't have to worry about them on the weekend. Shops are less busy on a Friday night. Top tip for you. And then I'm probably going to come back and do another load of laundry and possibly even a third load of laundry. Get it all done. Smash it out. And then I will be good for the weekend. So that's my Friday night. I hope yours is a little bit more interesting. If you have any questions about anything I've spoken about, leave them in the comments for me. 
leave me a comment and let me know if you've decorated for Halloween, what you've done. I am decorating the outside of my parents' house because that's where I'll be for Halloween because I'll get trick-or-treaters there. I'm not going to get trick-or-treaters at my apartment. So uh, I will share some of the photos or like story that on my Instagram. So again, if you're interested, check out um, my Instagram and otherwise I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Wow, 20 minutes of talking, Rachel. It's supposed to be a like eight minute video. This always happens to me. I can't help it. I'm back from groceries and I've just lit a couple of my Halloween candles and I thought since it's dark in here, even though as you can see, there's still some light outside. We have kicked into daylight savings here in Sydney, so it stays lighter for longer, but you get the idea of all the little light up things. Honestly, I wish everything lit up. These are just amazing. They give off such a great glow. So definitely recommend those from Target. Little TK Maxx pumpkins. I like these like cutout details. A lot of my um, pumpkins, even though they came from different collections at different times, have that kind of cutout detail. And then over here, how pretty is all that? I've got some like flickering uh, LED like tea light candles up there and that and then my other new little pumpkin down here super pretty I don't think the camera does it justice but you guys get the picture just picture like chilling out on the couch with all that going around it just puts a smile on my face and then I have this one in here as well. I love this. I definitely want to get some more of these. I saw some similar ones this year, um, but maybe maybe next year I'll try and pick a few more up. And my candle. My spooky tree over there. While we're chatting, since this video has already gone on a lot longer than I expected it to, I'm going to flick the lights back on. Ooh. Adjust, adjust. I think we're adjusted. Uh, while I was shopping, I did pick up a couple of these from Woolworths, they're the Mirabella brand. I'm gonna give those a go. I might open one and see what it's like and then if I don't like them, I will take that back. But these are 1.2 meters high. Um, they are plug-in, so you do need to have uh, power. But yeah, $20 from Woolworths. And I'm also going to show you what overbuying Halloween candy looks like. And yes, I know that we, um, call them lollies or chocolates here in Australia but for some reason for me when it's Halloween it becomes candy just it's just the way it is so these one kilo bags were the ones that I already had from Woolworths these are ten dollars each which is actually kind of pricey but they are like a kilo I think I'm going to try and take one of them back because then today I bought a whole bunch more at Woolworths and Aldi and I don't need all this and if I don't give it away, I'll end up eating it myself, and that's not good. So, M&M's, Kinder, Freddo's, Mars Bar, more Freddo's, Milky Way. Thank goodness this was, like, all on sale. More M&M's, more Dairy Milk, Twirl. Then Aldi had a whole bunch of like Halloween specific. So we've got Haribo, Halloween, little like gummies. Trolley, I love these. The burgers and the pizzas. This just reminds me of my childhood. Some spooky chews. These are like really like old school kind of lollies. Trolley Halloween mix. Some fright mix, more sort of old school. <laughs> and then we have some little eyeball chocolates, some little pumpkin chocolates, and some little ghost chocolates. So, oop, almost. Um, this is what about $60 worth of Halloween candy looks like. And um, definitely, definitely don't need all of this. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll take one of those one kilo bags back, but still. Um, I better get some trick-or-treaters, otherwise that's that's a good like five kilos added to Rachel's body. 